I can yeah. live with you like that. If you like, change. If you like, don't change. And I don't even like, I don't even have the intentions of changing you. You know, there are some people that go into, in, into marriage. You see your partner's imperfections. Or you see that someone is slapping you in the relationship. Is There's physical abuse in the relationship and you feel like... Um, I'm going to change him. I'm going to pray. Uh, are you yeah. Jesus Christ? No, that is not possible. <laughs> it will not change anybody. You can't, you can't change anybody. That, that's, 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 that's it. You can't it, change that is it. You can't change anybody. So it's better for someone that you know you, you can, can undo you their can imperfection. Their imperfection. And you another one, so, another one you don't spend relating that still happens in relationship, but at times I feel like beating you up. <laughs> <laughs> is the kitchen? Oh my god. The way you used to come and control me in the kitchen. I mean, we feel like if I don't know what I'm doing. Ah! No, it's not that maybe hey. I'm controlling you in the kitchen. Hey. No, I... Guess what, guys? I saw all that in the relationship. Because, okay, when we're even dating, is this, he likes cooking. He's a cook. He's a chef. And if I'm sorry, you should have your own Akitoye chef, whatever, whatever, <laughs> restaurant. So that you'll be displaying all your, all your <laughs> talents talent. there. Because please, you yeah. have to give me space in that kitchen. Please, you really well, I have know to. you hold that kitchen, but at the same time, at least. Sometimes you do call me. You're like, baby, come. I remember <laughs> that day. You are, in, you are in the kitchen. You still called me, baby, come on. Please, come and help me to hold the gas. I was like, Jesus. <laughs> But you are there now. <laughs> Please leave me. <laughs> there are some times that I'm not going to lie. He, uh, he has been helpful in the kitchen, but sometimes that. But there are also some times that he gets me upset. Like I said, I saw it in the relationship. Yeah. There was a time that ah, I, I must say this. Ah, I need to say this. Okay. There was a time I wanted to cook noodles. No, before I oh, go into that, that, that came noodles, to my place. he's always cooking. Like I'm, I'm the baby girl in the relationship when we are dating. Anytime I'm coming to his place, he will be like. What do you want to eat? You know, you won't go and buy the food. It's going to be homemade food. Yeah. So you eat, and then when I was in school, we we're not allowed to cook in the hostel. So anytime I'm, we're not allowed to cook, we, we usually buy food, junk, and all that. Anytime I feel like eating homemade food, I'm, I'm going to his place, and in time, don't worry. When you get to his place, call me so that I can start preparing it. So that by the time you get there, it will be cold. It will still be hot. So it's that kind of. It's, it has always been the one. When we're dating. 95% of the time, he was the, the one doing the cooking. No, let's say 98%. <laughs> yes! <laughs> you only cook once. Oh, you, know, you know what? Yes, no, now, that noodles now, that, that day, no, I remember. Don't, I don't, that noodles. Just not that, just that, that noodles. Now white noodles. <laughs> <laughs> it was not that. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah, okay. Yes. It wasn't just that noodles. There was this, this uh, festive period I came to your place and I cooked correct fried rice for you and people forgot yeah, and I decided on this to try. tell you that oh, guy I know how to cook oh, forget all this one. and me I was just right. enjoying it, it ne- the truth is it never knew I know how to cook until we got married and I started cooking was like ah, so you were able to cook because I said she knew you were the one that wanted to continue to cook I'll be eating and I'll be eating and be giving you compliments Maybe this one is, it tastes nice so before I digress completely so I could remember, like, he's the one that actually does all the cooking, though. So that day, he just told me, and um, maybe, maybe he even wanted to put me on a test that day. No, no, I that, can't. I, that I feel that was what tired. he wanted to do. No, I was tired because that day. He now said, um, maybe, um, he, um, he seems to really want to cook the noodles, and me, I did not even complain because as someone that has always been doing it, and today he told me to come and cook noodles. That's how I got to the kitchen. He likes to fry a lot. If if is you know if there's any other name of fry fry, <laughs> he likes to fry and if he wants to cook his dinner, me he fries his noodles. Yeah. So that day I was like, okay, I'm going to parboil. That was what I had in my mind. I'm going to parboil it and then that's the day I cook my noodles too. I mean I poured water in the pot. So it's like it's that day. Even I poured water in the pot, it was like, hey, leave it. Ah, it's, it's, you want to boil into me now? You, you want to steam into me? Ah, no, no, no. That was what he said. You want to boil? You know, just I was so <laughs> upset. I was so upset. I left the kitchen. I was like, ah. so, and me, you know, I even told you then that I, I grew up. My dad didn't. My, my dad was the one that taught me how to cook. So my dad always dominates the kitchen. That like, even when you're cooking, for example, you're trying to turn them off. I yes. will come and collect that on the diary for me. Give me, what are you doing? So since then I'm like, I don't want to marry anybody that knows that loves kitchen. I just want a man that does not know how to cook. Mm-hmm. Like if I even so anything, can give him anything, anything, anything I put in on the table like this, you are going to eat it with joy. With uh, you get what I'm saying. You won't even be able to differentiate this mag- maggie, the cube, and the seasoning is much or is too spicy. So 
that kind of person I I wanted. But at the end of the day, I ended up marrying someone that loves kitchen like she yeah. dad. And <laughs> it is um that thing is really, really at times it upsets me. But there are some times that it's awful though, because there are some times that I may just be tired. I work from home actually, and there are some times that I'll be very, very busy at work. It will go to work, it will come back and still be the one to prepare dinner. So there are some things that I'll be like, ah, thank God, thank God this guy knows how to <laughs> But there are some times that he, there was a day I literally left the kitchen. Yes, I've wow. forgotten. That day that I was trying to put um 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 um, um seasoning okay. in, in the food, and you're like, no, don't put this one, you should put ah yes, I just no, no, left no, no, everything. Oh, it, that, was, no, that was not no, it. No, no, I remember now, I remember that the seasoning one is another is that one no, is another you know, you know what, you know what? You know, you like your noodles when it's sharp, as in your taste. Brother. Yes, I like you, that's you what like, I like. like and uh, does not is this kind of person. Taste. Okay, me. I if, like me. I love it when is, everything and, blends. And Mr. Blender, you know, Mr. Blender. <laughs> you know, as if you are eating, you should. As in, I hate when no, I'm no, eating I know, and I can figure Maggie. out this is Maggie. This, this is, is salt. I hate it. He likes his I love when everything blends. Yeah, 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 that's, that's how I, I like cook. It. So I just like everything sharp, 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 sharp. <laughs> don't be <laughs> saying it now. I don't cook sharp. No, it's not that. Like, no, no, no. no actually, no, no. What I'm trying to say is, you love your food when it's sharp. You understand? It's, it's, it's and sounding like see, but you don't kill the food with salt. No, you don't kill the food with salt, but. Despite the fact that you put uh, seasonings and maggi, all those stuff, mm. but you still like it when it's sharp. But me, I love it when it's blend. Just blend, blend it, everything when it blends. for me. Oh. Yes, now. The truth is, there was a day I hand really left the kitchen. I, as I literally was annoyed and I said, I am not cooking this night. What happened? That day, I wanted to fry potatoes. Oh. And I was trying to, oh hey, God. <laughs> Sincerely speaking, I'm not going to lie. I used to fry uh, potatoes a lot, but I, I don't usually boil. It was when I got married to you. That was when I started eating boiled potatoes. Potato. So it, it, I just rinse. I was trying to rinse because um, the, the, it has a lot of sand. You get. Oh, so I, was I trying remember to that day. <laughs> wash it and just put it. But I was like, no, you don't do that. You have to use the sponge yes, for scrubs. Oh, you to put it, 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 Everything I went to the sitting room. I was so angry. I was like, I am not cooking this time. Cook it yourself and eat everything yourself. I cooked. So, it I cooked, and, but at the end of the day, yeah. I I shall hit. No, I have to the judge. I try to explain. But, okay, this is what happened. This but, is what I'm trying to say. You understand? It's not a big. But I say, oh God, I was angry. I was like, this is another daddy in the kitchen. Oh my God. <laughs> This is because my daddy, my daddy would literally, my daddy would come and collect food from me and then you leave it. I want, let me continue cooking, cooking rubbish. So I, I just don't. But the yeah. truth is, these are some of the things that I saw in the relationship, and it's still even happening in marriage. Even despite the fact that I've called his attention to this, please can you just? There was a time you even told me, I am not going to enter your kitchen again. <laughs> I'm not going to enter your kitchen again. Just uh, anything you cook, bring it away like that. There, that day I can remember, I had to send you a message. At work, that don't worry, just tell me how you want me to prepare your food yes, and all yes, that. And yes. but it is something I can live with, it is not something that I will sleep on the bed and I'll be crying. No, mm. so as 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 someone who is who is um who is still in a relationship, your 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 and you know that everyone, let me tell you, everyone is not perfect, yeah, even your parents, your dad is not perfect, your mom is not perfect, you you are not perfect, that your partner is not perfect, but make sure. That's their imperfection. Make sure it is something you can live with. You can deal with. Something you can cope yes, with. Now. Something you can, you can, you can, that will not seize your peace. Something that will not take sleep out. Or, uh, something that will not give you sleepless nights. All right? Because some people, they will tell you, ah, uh, it's lucky. I remember there was a time, uh, I'm still going to talk about that, my hex. That, um, I, 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 hair, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know. Yeah. Maybe you know, that's just uh, Subsequent video, I'm going to talk about red flags. Okay, that that my ex is a whole topic on like a full yes, no. I should like a curriculum oh, on red course. flags. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the whole red flags, everything on the, in, in that yeah. in that relationship. All right, that's not even what we were going. There was a time I am, um, I, I told one one of my one uh, of my friend who is an older woman, she's married, 
Then those days, oh, I told her that I, my, I, I want to leave the relationship that the guy slapped me. And she said, eh, nobody. They used to, men used to slap. <laughs> men used as you see, as you, as you are looking at like my husband used to slap me. Yeah. <laughs> so, so people see it as normal. They feel it's normal. Nobody is perfect. No, like, men you know, you said, you said, you said, it's better. Better you get married to someone you can live with. Their imperfection. Yeah, imperfection. Exactly. I think that woman she, she can, can live, live with, with the slap. Yes, that's it. See, what you can take. I cannot. Maybe we are trying to say choose wisely. Yes, it's good to choose. Slap. Yes, maybe that's what she likes. That's how they enjoy their love. <laughs> but the truth is, I don't know. No, but I don't go into mm. marriage with the intention of. With the mindset that you can change no, someone. No, no, you can't do that. You, you can't, can't change, change anyone. You can't change. Yeah, so Trust me, there are so, too many times that I really want him to turn a new leaf. But it's still, it's still, it's a gradual process. I'm not bad. I'm not saying you are bad. Did I say you are bad? I think I still expect you that when we want to do things, you don't tell me. Um, no, no, no. You see, you see there is something you can't change about me. You understand? I cannot say me. I can change you. I cannot. Yes. Even you cannot change me. It is see, one thing about changing someone is if that person you want to change does not even see anything wrong with what he or she is doing, they will not see any reason to change. You cannot change anybody. Imagine that your own old habits or those bad habits you've been trying to change since when you were young until date, you have not even changed. Not to talk of you want to change your hair, oh, you won't be like you. It won't be possible. No, possible. So don't even go into marriage with the intention of changing anybody. So. Whatever it is in the relationship that you're seeing as your partner's weakness, or uh, uh, and you, you 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 know you cannot just like I said, try and escalate it. <laughs> Today is it like this? I will slap you like this. So, hey, I will. Yeah, not slap me. <laughs> Imagine that in marriage, that slap will land on your face. I should start it. In it. So it will land on your. So just imagine it because in relationship you cannot know. You cannot. You it's cannot. Me. You cannot see the whole. Package in relationship. It is when you get married that's when you now start seeing the, the real, full the full package, package of that person. Is, is you know, one thing I know is uh, in relationship, mm. both guys and ladies, we they try to package ourselves. Package ourselves. Yeah, I'm imagine good, I'm good. I'm good. I will show you the real my, color. my real but color. You imagine you even with that but package, you will still you will see some. Red flag that you're like, no, this guy, I can't take it. Imagine you with that package, you are still seeing some small red flag. Imagine when you can't see you get married like this. All right, thank you guys for for I hope this video was helpful. Yes, yes, yes. I hope this video inspires you. Thank you, baby, for being on the show. Oh, thank it's, it's you. Thank really you. It's really interesting having well. this discussion with you. Thank yes, you, so much. All right, so um, I hope this video inspires you. Can you let me know your thoughts and comments? down below in the comment section and if you want me to bring him back to this show can you let us know all right because i really find this um conversation interesting yeah it's interesting, interesting. Right? Yeah. <laughs> all right and what we are trying to say is that don't settle for less don't yes. because people are saying nobody's perfect and then you end up with the worst of all the the most terrible person not in the name of nobody's perfect all right mm -hmm. Choose something you can live with. Oh, Choose sure. who you can. If even when they are doing, when they, in their weakness or whatever, you are, you can still have your peace. All right. You, you are not having sleepless nights because of anyone. All right. And do you have well, any parting words for us? Well, my advice, especially, goes to ladies. You know that you understand. We are always having ladies. Yes, yes, <laughs> ladies out there. Some. Due to oh time 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 time, time. Going, I'm yeah. getting home. I'm you just set for less. No, oh. it's bad because uh, marriage is not something you can just you rush can in and then you the say, next four, it's four years three course. years and it's then years your house. Your house. It's no, no, it's forever. No, no. You need to take your time. You take your live time. with someone you can deal with their imperfection. Yes, you understand? That's, it's that's, not good. You should just rush in. Mm. At the end of the day, how oh, my friends are getting married, they are getting mm. married. Oh, I want to get married, you know. Mm. You know, some will like, guy, when are you going to propose? They will See, really want to be they will like, okay, propose, propose. It's not propose. all about getting married is the is the is the, is the marriage the marriage that itself is more you understand so to me i believe you you need to 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 watch as in watch and pray 
Yeah. You understand? You Watch to, and pray. Like, wait, you don't just settle for less. Mm -hmm. All in the name of my friends are getting married. Mm -hmm. I want to say you will get tired. <laughs> so that's it. All right. Thank you for those um, for those words. Seriously. So ladies, um, don't rush into marriage. That's just it. My friends are getting married. One thing I usually tell people is that my friend is getting married. We are not getting married to my husband. All of us, we yes, have. Every of us sure. not get married to the same person. So why should I rush into something I know is not right for me or something I know I cannot cope with, something I know that I am even scared you're, you're having, you're being skeptical about the ma the wedding or wedding class or whatever. And then because you don't want to um, call it off, because you feel, oh, time is going, I'm almost 30, I'm 31, yes. I'm 32, there's no time. See, <laughs> marriage is forever. It's forever. May God help everyone of us in Jesus' name, all right? Thank you so much. We'll see you in our next video. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Yeah, love you. <laughs> <laughs> I How can you love me? It's only me you love. Me. Hey, I love you. <laughs>